So this is my house that I bought about five years ago. And I've had the intention of setting it up to use resources as efficiently as I can and incorporate a lot of permaculture principles that I've learned in, a, in some classes I've taken. Trying to put together just a, a suburban lifestyle that has a much smaller carbon footprint. So I don't own a car, I live car free. Um, I'm in a, a friendly neighborhood where I can walk to work and walk to the grocery store and ride my bike to downtown. And so I'm gonna show, take you on a tour. I try to hide it. <laughs> So, I want to tell you different. So along my driveway, I've set up a, a series of raised beds. The area that I live in is in the wetlands, and so it gets really wet in the wintertime. And all of these raised beds are made out of air, metal air ducting that was from a big powder coat food that is a uh, sheet metal fabrication company. So we just uh, got these big chunks of used air ducting and sliced it up and set up some raised beds. This is my bike shed where I park my main transportation. As you see, I have a couple different bikes. And I also work at Bike Friday, so I have my little folded ticket and I also have a bike that goes in a suitcase. And it works as my garage. So this brick patio is made out of a bunch of bricks that were from an old mill, a kiln in an old mill and a couple about 50 years ago um, collected the bricks and built a brick house and these were the leftovers that sat in their yard for 50 years and then uh, we found the bricks and asked them if we could use them and they were happy to send, it, send them over to us and we made this uh, brick patio out of them. I also have this awning is made out of an old skylight. So this is my converted garage. Um, since I don't have a car, I don't need a garage for a car, so I live in my garage. And it's about 450 square feet. And I've used a lot of recycled materials and used materials um, when setting, setting it all up. So I've got insulation in the ceiling, in the walls, in the floor. And I heat the whole place in the winter just with one little electric heater. Um, and it works really well. And I love living here. <laughs> so this floor is all made out of pallet wood, made of four by fours that we pulled all the nails out of and put down as a floor and sanded it and it turned out pretty well. In the bathroom we collected a lot of scrap uh, style stone and granite from a place that does installations and we cut the scrap into a nice little pattern and made a, a nice style stone floor in the bathroom and we also got the shower stall from Bring Recycling and the window is a used window from Bring Recycling and the, the bowl for the sink is from Goodwill, a silver bowl. And then on the back of the toilet is a hand washing station where when you flush the toilet the wa clean water comes out and you can wash your hands and then it goes into the toilet bowl and gets used twice. So in my kitchen, um, <clears throat> I got this dresser that had the top of it all messed up from water damage and somebody was getting rid of it so I got it for free and turned it into my kitchen cabinet and drawers and then we put a door on top of it and set in a little um, extra additional counter space there. And then this is more of the scrap granite style stone that we collected over about six years and put put it together in pieces as a as a countertop and then this stove was my neighbor's stove that uh, they used in a, an apartment they were getting rid of it and knew I was doing this so they they gave me this cute little stove which is a perfect size 
And then this hood was actually in someone's garbage. I found it walking down the street one day, so I picked it up and it works perfect. And then my another neighbor was actually getting a new sink, and so they gave me my old, her, their old sink. So I got their sink and their fixtures. And I just have this little refrigerator here that works just fine for me, and then I have a large deep freeze that I put in the laundry room so I can have a lot of fruits and things in the deep freeze, and then I just use the little refrigerator for what I'm eating every couple of days. And then there's also this scrap of uh, sheet metal here that uses a pot rack, which in small spaces, pots and pans take up a lot of room, and so having them on the pot rack is the perfect way to store them in a small space and get at them easy. And then the shelf that's set into the wall here is another good way of using the space um, so I can get at the things that I use regularly, and they're right there on the kitchen wall. And the windows from Bring Recycling. So this is my bedroom. And um, I really like arches, so figured out this, all this trim here is made out of pallet wood. And we cut it into a nice little archway, and then these pocket doors work really well. They don't take up any extra space, and they allow for the arches. So we were really excited when we figured that one out. So in my bedroom here, I have my bed up high, and then all of my main storage is underneath it. So I have my dresser underneath the bed. Then out in the living room, I have this other storage place where I have a little um, additional storage underneath there that I can get at from the living room. In my little office area, I have another cabinet that's built into the wall that has storage inside of the cabinet. And so all three, my dresser, and the open storage space and the cabinet all fit underneath my bed to store, store all of my long-term stuff. Hi, and fishies. Yeah, <laughs> my little fishies. Another built-in shelf here for all my books. Works really well. So this is the sunroom under construction, and the purpose is to have a place half inside, half outside that's enclosed in glass that will help bring the sunshine in to, pre to bring in the warmth of the sunshine into my house, and then also have a place in the, sum the spring and the fall that I can be out in the sunny area even when it's cold outside, and I can also have my plant start um, kind of as a greenhouse. Thank you. 